Hey guys, Tactical Deals with Dad. So there's videos out there that show how to do a crankcase ventilation filter delete. And I went ahead and did one. Um, I did get some uh, high pressure readings with the filter in there. Um, so I'm thinking, uh, you know, I hit my 65,000 mile uh, service interval and you've got to go in there and change the filter. Don't pay anybody to do it. You can go in there and change it in 30 minutes or less. Um, the, the filter at the dealership's like $120. You can find them online, Amazon. Um, I got a cheaper one because I, I examined the stock, uh, the Mopar filter, and then I have some cheap $30 one from Amazon. I can't tell the difference. The plastic's just as thick. Um, so uh, I made a, a CCV filter delete video, um, but the problem is uh, you're going to get error codes because uh, I looked the error code up and it's essentially, there's a sensor right on the outside of the crankcase uh, cap, the cover, um, and you'll see that, that tube run down just in front of the turbo. And when the turbo is in idle, from my understanding, that sensor can tell uh, what the, that there's, that there's uh, a pressure difference between idling and then when, you, when you're accelerating, and it's looking for that pressure difference. And if it doesn't see that pressure difference, um, it's going to throw an error code. And so, uh, when I looked up that error code, I was like, Hey, I can delete my, my, uh, check engine light. I can just reset it. And it said that it was seeing different temperature or different pressures than what it was used to. Um, and so I was like, well, maybe the computer will learn that, um, it's, it's going to be used to these, these new pressures now with the, uh, the filter delete and the, uh, the, the crankcase ventilation tube rerouted uh, so it doesn't go into the turbo and, and put all those, those oil fumes into your turbo, um, potentially reducing the life of your turbo or your engine. Uh, so I, I ran it for, it's been about six weeks now, and I'm getting the check engine light uh, and throwing that trouble code uh, about twice a day. And I can just reset it. Um, it's not the end of the world, but it gets annoying for people that may not have the capability of resetting your check engine light. Uh, it's not going to be worth it. Um, it's a, it's a, you know, 80 to $120 or $30 in my case filter. Just put a new filter in it. Don't delete it. Don't delete it. But I will show, uh, I'll take this out. I'm going to re put it, uh, re put a new filter back in there and then hook that that uh, ventilation cover back in. The reason I'm gonna put a filter in is because I don't want all of, when it's rerouted, it does drip oil a little bit. You can get a catch can uh, that will capture that that oil that will, will drip out from all those fumes turning, you know, cooling back down and turning back into liquid. Um, uh, I just didn't want all of that oil going into my turbo. So I'm gonna put the filter back in there. So at least it captures some of that. It's gonna soak through that cloth, whatever the filter uh, uh, is made out of cotton or cotton paper element. Um, so it's, it's at least gonna soak into that uh, before those fumes are able to, to travel down the, the tube into the turbo. So I'm gonna uh, take off the crankcase cover um, and I'll show you, we'll see how much oil is, is in there because right now it's just a straight tube down to a catch can. All right, I have the uh, cover unscrewed and this is the filter. It actually looks, doesn't look bad in there. A little bit of oil in there, uh, moving around, but not as much as as I expected. We'll take this over and compare it to the uh, filter with paper element in it. Okay, as you can see, this is de the deleted filter. You do need both pieces because there's a rubber o-ring here and a rubber o-ring there that needs to sit on top of the uh, crankcase. And it's gonna sit like this. And if this piece is, isn't in there, it's going to leak. And I got some leaking on the back side of my uh, crankcase cover, even with this in there. And it sits like that. And this piece, the, those, it'll go down in two grooves and it's got to sit there and, and not wiggle around. So you can see this one has the paper element in there. Um, you do have to slowly go around and pry around the edges uh, very, very carefully because there's adhesive. You can see some of the adhesive right here um, on the bottom of the element. There's adhesive on both sides, and uh, it's really hard to, to uh, separate these two pieces um, without cracking your uh, the lip, which there's a gasket around the top of the crankcase. So 
I'm going to finish installing this one and then we'll resume. All right, so here is your uh, top of your crankcase covers off. You can see this gasket goes around there. That's what makes contact with your filter. And you can see even deleted and everything was intact. I was still getting some leakage on the back side of my uh, crankcase cover. So in my opinion, it's just not worth it. Um, and then I'm going to uh, use this tubing that I used to reroute the, the uh, crankcase gas is down below the turbo uh, through there and down to the bottom of the truck to a catch can. I'm just going to put it back to the turbo. All right, I've got everything put back together. Crankcase cover. Got the uh, tube routed down to uh, down below the turbo. And I did take uh, take this piece off because this is just essentially goes from your crankcase cover uh, down to your turbo and I didn't see a need to have more junk right there. So I hope this video helped. Just wanted everybody to be aware that if you do decide to, to uh, delete your, your crankcase filter, um, you could run into problems. If you guys know of somebody that has a tune or some way to turn off that, um, that sensor that, that senses the, the pressure between the turbo and the crankcase uh, filter, let me know. But uh, otherwise, I just wouldn't mess with it. Uh, it. You know, I've had this filter in and out. Uh, bought a use, bought a bought the new one uh, to put in there while I took out the media filter of the of the old one. Um, and so I've uh, it's just too much of a pain in the butt. I would just stick with the with the filter and uh, and not mess with it. So hope this uh, helps. What direction you want to take with your truck? Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Appreciate it, guys. Take care.